Hello about the internet here, back again with another video. Today's video is going to be about talking about the Aslan Karachev's first title one in Dubai and Alexander Sasha Zverev winning in a Kapul Cup. Uh, yeah, guys, let's start with Aslan Karachev first. A impressive week from him, the journeyman from Australia, where I called him the journeyman. Maybe he will not be the new Cecinato, where Cecinato we all remember 2018, three years ago, French Open, when he played his uh, uh, semi-final and did a great run there. We all remember he defeated Novak Djokovic on the way to that semi-final in the quarters. Then he then his road ended in the semi-finals against Dominic Team in straight sets. And we and I thought that maybe Aslan Karachev, the 27 years old from Russia, maybe will be the similar story. Maybe the, it was just on a, a Cinderella story we saw last month in Melbourne. But look, guys. He has delivered. He has won his first title just a couple of weeks later, just one, one month later, his first ever title. A pretty big title, to I, I would say. It is not a Masters, yeah, we know, but it is a 500 class tournament, So and he wins it, and he has defeated some really good players or, or, uh, along the way. One of them is the 500 class specialist Andrei Rublev, uh, who was in a big winning streak in 500 class matches. I believe Rublev has won over 20 matches in 500 class tournaments. Alas Aslan Karachev stopped him there with an impressive win in the semifinals. And then yesterday against Lloyd Harris, it was not a question who was the better player. Aslan Karachev, he was superior, defeated Lloyd Harris. 6-3, 6-2. Gave Lloyd Harris only five games. Lloyd Harris also did a great week, by the way. A qualifier who, who has played seven matches in a row and who defeated, like we all know, Dominic Team earlier this week. Which, also, of course, Dominic Team was not... Uh, uh, he was not good in that match, to say the least, but all credit to Lloyd Harris. He's playing some really good tennis with big serves, big forehands, and this... Fast surfaces really, really suits big servers like Lloyd Harris. He like uh, like the, the surface is uh, pretty fast in Dubai. But Aslan Karachev, let's see what he can do, guys. He's the third player to win a title this year from Russia. We all know the other two more famous players like uh, Dan Medvedev, who won his first title for the year 2021 in Marseille. And Rublev won his first title for the year in 2021 in Rotterdam. And now Aslan Karachev is becoming the third player of Russia to win a title this year, 2021, in Dubai. Uh, all big, big congrats to Aslan Karachev. Maybe he will not become, maybe he will not become the new Marco Cecinato. Let's see, guys. Let's see. It is still too early, but winning a title in tennis, it is always great. It is always great. It is not easy, guys, because tennis, we all know, it is a knockout system. You, you you don't afford to win to lose matches because if you lose match, if you lose a match, you will be a, you you will be at a, a flight home. We all know that. So uh, even though this is not a Masters or not, or, or not a Grand Slam, it is a great step in Aslan Karachev's career, winning a tennis tournament. So I really like his game, Aslan Karachev. He has a big game, guys. He has a firepower, both on forehand and backhand. He has a decent serve. And he's pretty decent returner as well. Uh, the, he, he returned really good against Lloyd Harris. Man, he 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 braked Lloyd Harris' serve many times in this match. Four, uh, four or five times in total, I believe. Uh, three or four times, something like that. Uh, uh, three or four times uh, uh, Aslan Karachev break Lloyd Harris serve uh, because he was returning really good he was playing really good off the ground from the baseline uh, it, it, Lloyd Harris just was never in this match guys uh, Aslan Karachev was a much better player uh, with, in, 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 in everything on the department of the game guys with forehand, with backhand, with the returns with the baseline game uh, you name it uh, I just like the firepower that Aslan Karachev possesses, guys. He can, he can hit through you all over the place, guys. From the backhand corners, from the forehand corners, uh, he, 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 and 
I'm, I have noticed something with Aslan Karachev. Fast surfaces really suits his game. I don't think that Aslan Karachev will be superior on clay. I really don't think so. Uh, let's see. Maybe I'll be wrong. Uh, because th th this firepower that he has, he can hit through everyone in the world, guys. He really can do on fast surfaces. On clay, I don't think that he will be as much rewarded with this, with this firepower that he has. So we, we have to wait and see what, what he can do when the clay court season will start. Anyway, big congrats to Aslan Karachev for his first ever uh, win uh, uh, title in his career so far. And I don't think he will be his last. I really don't think so. Uh, let's see what he can do on, the, on when the clay court season gets started. And then we have the other tournament between Alexander Zverev and uh, b b between the other uh, the other final on Mexico in Acapulco between Alexander Zverev versus Stefan Tsitsipas. Look, guys. I'm going, to, I'm going to say to you something. I'm going to be honest. Before this final started, I had two winners. And maybe of you, maybe of you thinks I'm going to say the winners of, the, of these two tournaments. No, I'm not that. I, I, I don't lie, guys. I'm not like that. I say what I felt and what I believed before the, before the finals. Before the Aslan Karachev and Lloyd Harris final, I thought that Aslan would win. I was right. He won straight sets before the Alexander Shazazverev and Stefan Tsitsipas final. I thought that Stefanos would win. I was wrong. I just thought that Stefan Tsitsipas he owns Alexander Shazazverev in the head to head 5 1. Sasha Zverev won the first encounters, and then Alexander and then Stefanos has produced four straight victories against uh, 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 Zverev. So the Five, I believe. Five. Five straight victories. Uh, five. The first match, he, he uh, uh, Sa uh, Alexander Sasha Zverev wins. And then S Stefanos, he produces five straight w victories against uh, uh, Sasha. So the head-to-head -head before the final was 5-1. So something in, the head, in, the, in that head-to-head -head tells us that S Alexander Sasha Zverev has really difficulties handling Stefan Tsitsipas. And Stefan Tsitsipas has looked really good in Mexico. He has, he has looked solid. He has looked solid. And so I thought that Stefan Tsitsipas would win this final. I was wrong. Alexander Sasha Zverev won. 6-4, 7-6. Straight sets. Sasha Zverev is winning this tournament without dropping one single set. And he's winning his 14th title in all in all. In all. What can we say of the match? Sa uh, St Stefanos had the best start. He was up in the lead for one with one break. And then Sasha com comes back. And, uh, actually, Stefanos even had three break match opportunities to, to, to give himself a 5-1 lead in that first set. And if that was the case, Stefanos would never have uh, lost that first set. Let's, let's be honest here. But Sasha, he saves those crucial three break opportunities that, Alex that Stefan that Stefanos had in that 4-1 uh, uh, game. And then Sasha produces five straight uh, uh, games and wins that first set 6-4. Great comeback in that first set from Sasha Zverev. And then in the second set, it was pretty even, uh, it, 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 even Steven set. In the end, uh, the second set goes to a tie break where... Alexander Sasevarev is the stronger one and wins that second set tiebreak 7-3. He did a great tiebreak, Alexander Sasevarev, in that second set. And in the end, uh, Alexander Sasevarev wins the match 6-4, 7-6. So, Alexander Sasevarev, Alexander Sasevarev wins his 14th title in Mexico. What can we say about Stefano's game. Yes, yeah, Stefano's game. He did a gr he did a solid final. It was a pretty close battle. This I I believe this match took over two hours. I believe in total two hours and nineteen min nineteen minutes. So of course this match, even though it is a straight sets victory for Sasha Zverev, uh, Stefano Tsitsipas he was in the match the entire match. He like I said he had he had the. Uh, a 4-1 lead in the first set and I, and actually had a set point in that second set 5-6 five, six, five, five, six game when Sasha Zverev was serving in that 5-6 game uh, 
but he saved that set point, Sasa Zverev, uh, in, in his own serve and took that second set to tiebreak. In, and in the tiebreak, Sasha Zverev was a much better player than Stefan Tsitsipas and won that 7-3. So the match, of course, was close. But I have to say something about Stefan Tsitsipas. He has won five titles in his career. And many people are talking about this young Greek, super talented Greek. I'm one of them who also talks about him, but I don't hype him way too much. You have, you, you follow my channel, you have noticed that I am not hyping Stefan Tsitsipas way too much. I like his game. He has a similar game like Roger Federer, but of course much worse. Um, uh, but he's, he reminds me of, of, of a young Roger Federer with a long hair, one, one single-handed backhand with first strike attacking tennis with ultra-aggressive play, uh, going to the net, uh, playing, uh, uh, playing chip and charge, and and things like that. So he, he, he reminds me of Roger Federer. And not only me. I, 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 I suspect uh, he, rem he, he reminds a lot of tennis lovers around the world about Roger Federer. Or young Roger Federer. But he's not, he's not winning big titles, guys. He's not... He's going deep in tournaments. He, he went deep in Australian Open semi-final. Lost their straight sets against Medvedev. Uh, didn't... Didn't take one set against medals there, and now he played his he played the final his first final this year, uh, twenty twenty one, and he, he even though he played a close battle against Sverev, but he didn't won the set. So, and if you look if if you look in his five titles that he has won during his career, he has won only one big title, and the, and that was twenty nineteen that. Uh, need to ATP two finals in London. So all of the other four titles that he has won, it is 200, 250, 250 class tournaments, guys, if I'm not mistaken. So considering how, how, how much people are hyping him, I think that people should calm down and not stop hyping Stefan Tsitsipas. But because if you look at his game, the only thing he has really, really superior in his tools it is his forehand, guys. I swear that, guys. It is the only thing that is superior in his game. It is forehand. His forehand is superb. But his backhand is not superb. His, his returns are not superb. Uh, his defensive game is not superb. So he needs to improve his backhand. He needs to improve his returns. He needs to improve his, uh, his defensive game. Because you can hit through him pretty easily. Yeah, he's a, he moves pretty good to be a tall dude. But... People are hyping him too much. People are thinking, oh, this is the next guy. Look, guys, we don't have the next guy. I've told about this before. I don't think the next guy even... Ex we are not seeing him. I don't think Zverev is the next guy. Even though Zverev is doing great things. He has won 14 titles. He... not. People are talking much about Zverev. He's the dude who has won most titles of all these so-called next-gens. He has won more titles than... Uh, not most titles. The team is, has won mo most titles. He has won 17 titles of these so-called next-gens. But team is the oldest guy. He's 27 years old. Zverev is 23 years old. If you compare Zverev with Tsitsipas, with Medvedev, with uh, uh, Rublev... In this generation, these dudes are 22, 23 years old, all of them, Zverev, Medvedev, Rublev. Not, Medvedev is 25 years old, uh, but Medvedev and Rublev, they are 22, 23 years old. I think uh, I think uh, Rublev is 23 years old, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, uh, Tsitsipas is 20, 22 years old. Uh, Tsit, uh, Shapo is 21 years old, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, uh, Felix Aliasim is 20 years old, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, if you compare Zverev with his, with his peers, he is the best. He has won 14 titles. He has won four big titles. Three Masters and one ATP Two Finals in London. So, and people are not talking much about Zverev. They are not. They are talking really much about Tsitsipas because people are loving his playing style. Guys, it is not the playing style who makes you successful. You have to you have to perform also. And Tsitsipas has won only one big title for God's sakes. As he and he's 22 years old. He will be 23 years old later later this year. So we should stop Tsitsipas he he really needs to step up and started winning titles, started winning more 500 class tournaments. He has never won a one 500 class tournament, if I'm not mistaken, uh, let alone a, one, a master thousand title. Uh, and uh, something that Zverev has won, he has won a couple of 500 class tournaments, he has won three master thousand titles, he has won one thousand one other people finds in London, he has won 
a bunch of big titles, uh, Alexander Zverev. Something that I cannot say about Stefan Tsitsipas. And people are still talking more about Tsitsipas than they are talking about Zverev. Stop it, guys. Stop it. We need to talk about Tsitsipas when he starts winning big titles. He has won only one big title, for God's sake, Stefan Tsitsipas. The new guy is not here. The new guy, I don't think he's even... He, I don't think he's even on the tour yet. He probably is 13, 14, 15 years ago, 13, 14, 15 years old. Look all the champions that we have had this year so far in 2021 tennis season. Look, we don't have one player who has won two titles yet. All players has won one title. Medvedev, Rublev, Alex, Alexander Sasha Zverev, Aslan Karachev, Djokovic. Djokovic has played only one tournament, one single tournament, I should say. Uh, um, Bibi now, I, I, I probably have forgotten. Uh, Yannick Sinner. We have only one, we have only one time champions so far during the, the, the 2021 season, guys, for God's sakes. And we are almost in April. We are almost in April, guys. The tennis season is all, almost four months long. And we have only one time, uh, one time champions in tennis in the men's tour so far. Why? Because we don't have a big champion. Outside the big three, Djokovic, Nadal, and Federer. We don't have. We really don't have. So, and Tsitsipas is not a big champion. At least not yet. He's not. Forget it. He has won five titles, and four of them have been 205 class tournaments. He has won only one big title. 2019, at the Finals in London. And people are talking about him. He's the, new, the next guy, the next superstar. And and he has not even won more titles than Medvedev. There are more titles than, than Zverev. He has not. He has not... He has won. He has not even more. He has not even won more titles than Rublev, for God's sakes. And people are still talking more about Tsitsipas than they are talking about Rublev, Medvedev, and Zverev. Forget that, guys. No one of these dudes are the next superstar yet. No, they are not. And I don't think that the next superstar. When I say the next superstar, I mean we don't see. We are not seeing a player with one to, f with five to, ten Grand Slam wins in the in their bodies. We are not. You are not seeing that, guys. I, I am not seeing. I don't know if you are, guys. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. See you next time. Peace.